Are we honest? We are. What's up, guys? It's Bumpkin the Crane here. Today, I'm going to be doing my spoiler free movie review of the recent 2021 comedy action movie. Um, can, you can also consider it like an adventure movie, um, which is Jungle Cruise. Now, let's get into it. Anyway, I just, uh, I just saw, I just, like, saw this movie a couple, like, an hour and 30 minutes ago. Uh, so, uh, this is gonna be, like, it hasn't been, it hasn't been, like, that long since I've seen the movie. Just putting that out there. Anyway, um, this is, uh, the newest Disney movie, and I, uh, watched it digitally. Um... And in this film, this film takes place in like 1912 or 1915, I can't remember the exact year. Um, and like, basically the main character is Dr. Lily Hutton, or how, however you put, pronounce her last name, who's like um, an explorer and like, um, a like, uh, archaeologist who's, you know, trying to, um, find this flower that, like, um, can, like, you know, give people, can, like, bring people back from the dead, supposedly, and, um, can, you know, heal the sick, like, really, really fast, really quickly, um, and, she meets, and so she goes down there, she goes down to, like, uh, South America, and she meets, um, Frank, who's played by Dwayne The Rock Johnson, by the way, uh, and he, like, you know, gives, like, jungle cruises, that's his job, and, you know, they eventually make a deal, uh, and... And, uh, so, the deal was that, like, uh, you know, she'd pay him the money, and he'd take her, like, on the Jungle Cruise to go get that pedal. And, that may, and that's the basic part of this movie, like, basic, you know, just main story of this movie, and... It works very well. Um, it's a it's a really great story. Um, the cast is great. Um, Dwayne the Rock Johnson is great. Um, the other characters are great too. Like, you know, the other characters are played by great cast members too. But uh, the Rock gives the best performance in my movie. It, not in not in my movie. In my opinion, the Dwayne The Rock Johnson gives the best performance in this movie, in my opinion. Although all the performances, although all of the performances in this movie are great, he gives the best one. Um, this movie was very fun. It's not like a deep psychological kind of movie, like a like a piece of serious cinema or something like. Uh, it's not like a dramatic, um, um, deep psychological allegory of a movie, it's, and it's not trying to be, um, it's, it's a fun, it's just a fun little movie, a fun little adventure movie, um, that a lot of people would just call a popcorn flick, um, and, you know, it's, it's great at being what it's trying to be, it's great at being what it is, it's, it's a fun movie. It has a lot of awesome action scenes um, that are very fun, and it's a fun movie, and it's got a lot of humor in it, um, and the humor in this movie is great and very clever, um, and it, it just succeeds at what it's trying to be. Um, it's, it's a great movie in my opinion. Um, the CGI in this movie, like, is great. 
Um, however, it's not perfect, and it could be better on some of the animals, in my opinion. I mean, it was they didn't like a do they didn't do a bad job on like the CGI for the animals in this movie. Um, they did, actually did a pretty great job, but they could have done a better job, if you know what I'm saying. Um, uh, this movie had a lot of beautiful scenery. I love, like, just the setting of this movie and the scenery. And I love this movie's pacing. It's very fast paced in a good way, of course. And I love this movie's story, and I love, like, the, all the little twists and turns in this movie. And yes, there are some twists and turns in this movie. Um... They're all very clever, cleverly, like, you know, written and well-written. Um, and they feel fitting, if that makes sense. Um, this movie is mostly unpredictable, in a good way, of course. But it can get a little predictable at times. Not in a bad way, though. Um, it can also get a little cliche at times. Not in a bad way, though. Um, when, it's pre when this movie is predictable and cliche at certain times it's like predict predictable and cliche in like a necessary kind of way and a good kind of way that is needed for this story to work and i know that some people will probably have a problem with like you know certain like you know predictable aspects of this story but i don't i don't have a problem with those things with those predictable with those certain predictable aspects of the story i think that those are necessary and fine and they don't bother me at all um, this movie has a lot of great character chemistry in it, especially between, um, Frank and Lily, the two main characters. They're very fun together. They were very fun to watch. And, um, this movie had, uh, a lot of fun dialogue and a lot of great dialogue and a lot of great moments. And it had a great ending, too. It, the whole movie's great. It, it's a very fun film. It's not for everyone. There's some people who are just going to like turn up turn their noses at this film like because they they're they're the kind of people that you know don't like, you know, like non non like art art cinema like movies like art house cinema movies or something, but you know, those people can like just f off or something because i like these kind of movies they're they're great uh, and i love this movie it's great anyway um i'm gonna give this movie an 86 percent out of 100 percent which is the equivalent of an a minus like subscribe join the notification squad i will return